and they're off in the TBG.com Haskell Invitational. Maximum security comes out running, so does Bethlehem Road, and King for a day protecting the rail down on the inside. Spun to run is fourth and urged on through the opening eighth of a mile. Mucho Gusto settles about three lengths off the lead, and it is a long way back to Everfast. King for a day comes through on the inside of Bethlehem Road. They are head and head, but Bethlehem Road is a little bit quicker and now leads by a half length. King for a day at the rail is in second. Then comes Maximum Security inching up. Mucho Gusto is right behind Maximum Security. And inside of him comes Spun to Run. They're covered by two and a half lengths, eight lengths in front of Everfast. They're heading toward the half mile pole in the TVG.com Haskell Invitational, King for a Day at the Rail, Bethlehem Road in between them, and Maximum Security. Mucho Gusto has to go four wide, but he's less than a length off the lead, and Spun to Run is just inside of him. It's a dozen to ever fast, and now these two square off again, Maximum Security and King for a Day. Mucho Gusto joins the party with a big run on the outside. And now Mucho Gusto is right up to Maximum Security. King for a Day just checks sharply. Spun to run, running a big race in third. But it's Mucho Gusto and Maximum Security. Maximum Security cuts the corner. Mucho Gusto is going to make him work. Maximum Security has his mind on business. He leads by a half length. Mucho Gusto trying so hard to go by. Maximum Security, chest in front. Mucho Gusto, valiant, but Maximum Security has won the TVG.com Haskell Invitational. Just like that, Maximum Security back in the winner's circle where he belongs as the second half of his 2019 campaign commenced right there with a victory in the grade one TVG.com Haskell. That's Rich Perloff. I'm Mike Joyce. This is the morning line. It was dicey. It was hot. And he had to once again deal with another inquiry. Yeah, that that was uh, that added a level of drama to the proceedings. Now, this inquiry didn't take nearly as long mm -hmm. as the, the one in Louisville. In fact, it was very, very brief. And, and Mike, to my eye, as we looked at the various views that the stewards had available, it just, the incident occurred at a point on the racetrack where they just could not get a clear view of the level of infraction. I mean, you can see the reaction mm -hmm. of the jock aboard King for a Day down there on the inside, but that really is not dispositive, and it seems like you've got to have a, a clearer look at it if you're going to seriously contemplate taking a horse uh, down. On, on, a, on a smaller circuit at Los Alamitos, there's a spot in the turn at the, at the night racing where there's always, not always, but there's often an incident like this because the jocks know they, they know. can kind of yeah. get away with it. They know where that, that dark spot is in the cameras. So um, probably not as much anymore as back maybe 15, 20 years ago. But it, look, it, it happened. Um, I don't think there's any question that maximum security was the best horse, though. So it, it's not as if the betters were done any wrong and just a horse who didn't deserve to win won. And I agree with you. It doesn't look like you could get a clear view of whether or not he should have been taken down. But just the fact that poor Gary and Mary West mm. having to sit. I mean, if they took that one away from him, whoo, that would be. And, and, and the, the stewards, the stewards uh, involvement notwithstanding, from the three eighths pole to the wire, that was a tremendous horse race. That was maximum security. And that was Joe Talamo and Mucho Gusto, who engaged at the top of the stretch, had every opportunity to go on by, just not quite good enough. An outstanding effort for the, the Baffert shipper, trying to give Bob Baffert an unprecedented ninth Haskell victory. Not to be yesterday, but uh, a, a good race that they ran at Monmouth Park under very trying circumstances. They had to cancel about half of the race card yesterday owing to the extreme heat out in that part of the, the nation. They ran the Haskell, what, it's slightly after 8 p.m. Yes. local. So they certainly did. And uh, once again, a shout out to our good friends at Lane's End who made our coverage of this Breeders' Cup win and you're in possible. The TVG.com Haskell Invitational. Maximum security winning to the tune of $3.60. And the challenge series will continue for the classic. The next will be the Whitney at Saratoga on August 3rd. Walk, don't run. To get a chance to look at this grade one, we'll have it right here on our airwaves.